Inside your head, there's a little voice talking, often, continuously. At this very moment, your little voice is silent, or more discreet because you're listening to me. Well, at least I hope so. But if I stop, there it starts again. You're wondering, what does he want? Where does he want to lead us? And so many other questions that I cannot even begin to imagine. This little voice is your conscience. It speaks clear and loud with well-structured sentences. But is it the only voice in your head? Or are there many more, more or less audible? Sometimes it's not even a sentence, just a chain of words. Tired. Drink coffee. And deep inside, there are images which summarize ideas, actions, and concepts. Cup empty. We use shortcuts all the time to compress our thoughts, gain time and space. Make more coffee in kitchen. On a deeper level, mental operations are taking place without your consent. To catch an object, no need to actually measure the distance separating you from it. No need to compare the distance with the length of your arm. You know immediately whether you can open this cupboard or not. But, without you knowing it, complex operations have taken place in the background, thus enabling you to finally grab the coffee pot. Your conscience has then to sort out pre-formatted information and make some choices. If we start detailing the mental operations necessary for the most simple and mundane actions, it can easily make you dizzy. Let's try. Blue sky, okay. Go shopping, coffee, shop open, okay distance to shop, walk to shop, time needed, acceptable, physical effort, good, obstacles, obstacles, encounters, men, seduction, pleasure, danger, feel like walking, walking, pleasure, pleasure, car drive, full tank, drive, pleasure, quick trip, good, obstacles, not good, parking, problem, car, problem, problem, decision, walk. Like every organ, the brain is the result of a long evolution process. We easily accept the idea that nails are the remains of the claws of one of our hairy ancestors, but we are reluctant to think that our brain has been modelled slowly, during millions of years, in an environment very different from ours. Our mental tools were there, perfectly adapted to the survival of nomadic human beings that were busy hunting and gathering. For them, the way our brain classifies the world in categories was a precious asset and still is to this day, allowing us to gain time and greater knowledge. Movement detected in sky. Danger, bird playing. Danger, bird playing. No more coffee. Danger, bird playing. Go to shop. Danger, bird playing. For the past 150,000 years, we are Homo sapiens and our brain has barely evolved. The very short programs help us to analyze permanently the world around us and our relationships with others. These programs appeared when we were still sleeping in caves dressed with animal skins. And they are still in full force in our heads, often without our knowing. Everything that reaches our level of consciousness has been assembled before out of the whirlwind of sensorial perceptions and new neuron impulsions. It is particularly true for vision. Neurologists have identified no less than 30 modules in charge of cleaning the images we perceive and sorting out the essential information that contributes to our survival. Certain emotions, such as fear, also have a role in the survival process. In a fraction of a second, adrenaline flows into our veins, our heartbeat increases instantly, and reflexes push us out of danger's way. Fear is an innate mechanism that contributes to what we are made for, survival and procreation.